What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul, welcome back to another Top 10 video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Bioshock Infinite. Number 10, the Old Man Winter Plasmid used in the Burial at Sea DLC was created by Joe Trinder. He posted the design on the game's official forums. Trinder's design was immediately praised by other fans, quickly gaining attention on Reddit and even earning the approval of Bioshock creator Ken Levine. Within a day, Irrational contacted Trinder and asked for permission to publish the poster on their Facebook page. A month later, the team bought the design from Trinder and told him they planned to use it in the game. His initial version was for Vigor, but it was changed into a plasmid to fit with the game's DLC. Number 9. The Lutece's role is very similar to that of Bridget Tannenbaum from Bioshock. Both of them were scientists, both also go through great lengths to assist Booker in hopes of undoing their mistakes, similar to Tannenbaum's assistance of Jack in hopes of saving the Little Sisters in the first Bioshock. Lutece and Tannenbaum made their scientific breakthroughs, Terrors and Adam, for a good purpose, but in the end brought both their city's downfalls. Number 8. After rescuing Elizabeth from Monument Tower and waking up on the beach, it was originally intended for there to be a scene where Booker spoke to a couple instead of Elizabeth. This was changed to have Elizabeth save you from drowning and asking Booker if she could go listen to music, as it would show that she cared about Booker. The couple are still on the beach in the final game. Number 7. Bioshock's creator, Ken Levine, has stated that he hates seeing pornographic fan art of Elizabeth. In a Reddit AMA, he said it's like coming across porn of your own daughter, and that he quote, dies a little inside with every page view. Number 6. The propaganda posters featuring a little boy playing with toy soldiers and a little girl sitting on her father's lap asking him, Daddy, what did you do during the Siege of Columbia? is based on the British World War I recruitment poster with the same illustration, but reads, Daddy, what did you do during the Great War? Number 5. When Elizabeth enters the Duke and DeWitt game room in Battleship Bay, she talks about the latest version of the game, Flawless Flintlock, being delayed three times. This is a self-referential nod to the game's development cycle, as it was delayed three times. Number 4. In an early build of the game, the barbershop quartet in New Eden Square was called the B-Sharps. In the final version, the band's name was replaced with Albert Frank Presents. It's likely that the original name was a reference to The Simpsons, in which Homer was in a band called the B-Sharps. Number 3. During Booker DeWitt's time in the army, he held the rank of corporal, but at one point he attained the rank of staff sergeant, as seen in his 7th cavalry display in his office, garnering two Medal of Honors, which is unusual because only 19 men ever received two of them. His rank is an anachronism, as the US Army would not create the rank of staff sergeant until after the First World War. Additionally, in 1890, NCO chevrons were worn point down, not point up, as shown in the display. The army only settled on point up chevrons in 1902. Number 2. In the debut gameplay trailer, Songbird was given a voice similar to that of the Big Daddies from Rapture. This was later changed by the time of the E3 2011 gameplay trailer to the inverse being a loud, high-pitched, screeching noise. Despite the sound it makes being changed, Songbird still retains many Big Daddy-esque features. Its eyes resemble portholes, and it also shows different moods by using different colors, green, yellow, and red. It also has been noted by Ken Levine that Songbird and Elizabeth share a similar relationship to the Big Daddies and Little Sisters of Rapture. Unlike Big Daddy's, Songbird is a unique entity as it resembles a giant gargoyle rather than a man in a diving suit. Songbird also does not use weapons to obtain its means, only its tremendous size and the force in its fists and claws. Compared to Big Daddy's, Songbird is incredibly fast, even when seemingly passive. Songbird is incapable of withstanding any form of water pressure as opposed to the deep sea diving Big Daddy's. Number 1. Elizabeth was originally going to be mute, because the Rational Games wasn't confident in their ability to create a talking companion character, and were worried that repetitive chatter or quips would annoy the player. However, they felt that having to focus the camera on her for her to communicate visually interrupted the player's experience too much, and was also annoying. They were later faced with the decision to cut her completely, or to commit to making her a speaking character, and the decision was very controversial around the studio at the time. Alright, that's gonna do it for this top 10 video about Bioshock Infinite. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video or learned anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. Follow me on Twitter for various reasons, because I tweet things out periodically and some of them are interesting or funny. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.